Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today I have an exciting new video for you guys. We are giving a complete makeover to this balcony that has seen much better days and we are transforming it into a little piece from heaven with lots of DIYs and Pinterest worthy decor. Like for example, those wooden self-made planters. Some IKEA furniture transformation. And finally, a reed wall that completely changed the vibe of this space. The space that we are working with today is my sister's balcony. She and her boyfriend moved into their apartment about a year ago and never really cared much about the balcony. But with the current situation and all summer activities and vacations being cancelled, they decided to make the most out of it to be able to enjoy the sun outside as much as possible. And the first thing we wanted to change was the wall. Like I just said, my sister already DIY'd the wall with this reed material. You can buy it at any um, like Ikea or at the hardware store and then just attach it onto the walls. She then went ahead and trimmed it with a pair of household scissors so it had the correct height to fit the balcony perfectly. They also want to grow their own vegetables and herbs so they made those wooden planters themselves. They are super easy to make. You can either buy the wooden boxes at the hardware store or you make them yourself using some wood. And then you just go ahead and attach some plastic bags on the inside of the box using a stapler so that you can then fill them up with some soil and then water the plants without the water leaking everywhere. So that is everything they did themselves in preparation for the day. And now we're getting started with the floors. We decided to go for an easy solution that works in every space and can easily be reverted since they are renting the space for a limited time only. So we went ahead and got those wooden tiles from IKEA that you literally just click into each other to build a floor. And I was skeptical in the beginning, but it worked way better than I thought it would, especially after I figured out that simply stepping onto the tiles to make the plastic connections click is way easier than using your hands all the time. Laying down the floors was pretty much the biggest project of the day and also took the longest, but we just took our time and I just proceeded to lay down the tiles for the entire length of the balcony, while Kiba was obviously trying his hardest to help by standing in the way. You're enjoying the sun, huh oh, Kibi? Sunny time. The wood feels pretty nice on your bare feet and it is way warmer than the tile flooring from before the, so that's a win and it also looks very high quality and nice out there. We got pretty lucky because the tiles literally fit perfectly for the length of the balcony but for the width we had to use a saw to cut them into the right shape and size. Um, so we simply went ahead and measured out the width that we needed and we got lucky again for the door area because we could just simply like cut it into halves and click it in and it fit. And yeah, for the, for the cutting, we just used like a basic, I don't know, electronic saw is that, that's I think what it's called. And yeah, please don't use a saw on your living room floor at home if you are not an experienced DIY builder like my sister's boyfriend, okay? What we did there is pretty dangerous, but it worked out perfectly and we only messed up one of the tiles and cut it the wrong way. The rest of it we did perfectly.
measuring everything the right way and figuring out how to fit everything perfectly and the right way um, took quite a while and was actually a little bit harder than we expected it to be but the results are like so totally worth it a few little changes like putting down the wooden floor and attaching the reed wall makes such a huge difference in a space like this and we are super super happy with the results and it was absolutely worth putting in the effort and the hours Next, I proceeded to put all the plants that they bought into matching pots. The color scheme of the balcony is blue, green, gray and wooden colors. So very warm and natural colors that make a space feel very homey and go well with each, each other. And the light blue pots that I'm using are from Amazon. They have the possibility to regulate the water flow to your plant so it doesn't get too wet. And it actually is super easy to grow your own herbs, flowers and plants on your balcony. I've done it for years. All you need is to buy stuff that is easily um, like maintainable and just read the instructions. Make sure you place it either in sunny spots or spots that get enough light and make sure to water them on a regular basis. And you have your own little green oasis on your balcony or your front or backyard. And then it was finally time to decorate, which is my favorite part of those videos. Um, we put this cute little plant shelf in the left corner and then proceeded to fill it with different herbs and flowers, always making sure to work with different heights and layers to make it look nicer and less organized. You want to have it look a little bit like thrown together to get like this little boho vibe. And then on the other side, we put a small barbecue on top of this little blue table. It is made out of metal and the color matches the color scheme of the balcony again. And it, the little barbecue is perfect for two people. On the other side of the balcony, we put the big planter, which is going to grow bell peppers and other veggies that are easy to grow yourself in your garden or balcony. And the table and the chairs are from IKEA. Um, IKEA had those for years now and the table was already pretty old and looked nasty. So my sister just buffed it down and then painted it in a darker brown color to make it look nicer. And since my sister loves the boho and Pinterest vibe, she also got some macrame plant holders that you can hang on the wall or from the ceiling. So we drilled some holes in the wall and attached the hooks that came with it. And those holders hold the plant pots pretty easily and they look super, super nice.
urban outfitter inspired cup holders are also self-made by my sister. I simply call her the DIY queen since she is insanely talented and makes the nicest things herself. I will link the instructions on how to make those uh, little cup holders in the description box below for you guys since buying them at the store will easily cost you like $10 a piece or more and making them yourself is actually pretty easy and looks super nice. For the finishing touches I added some blue pillows for the chairs to make it a comfortable spot to sit and enjoy an ice cold drink during summer. We then also added some solar light bulbs for some light outside on the balcony. They charge themselves with those little solar panels on top and they shine at night. When it gets dark, as you will see in the end of the video, I attached a little clip from the balcony at nighttime. And yeah guys, so this is the final result. We are all so so happy and proud of how it turned out. It feels like a completely different space, so warm and cozy and absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did so, please leave a like and a comment down below. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more future videos like this and I will see you next time. Bye!